I'm gonna say too young for me. Yeah, oh, man, my, my auntie get man, yeah, man, no, good girl forget things. Look at it, way up, and she clean. Man, you're too young for me. Well, I'm back like, number. Mama London, and right. she had to clean. Are you a like celebrity? Like what is up my people? Welcome back to Kenny Huncho TV and we still depend the topic of Steph London and Jada Kingdom. As I said, no Mama London, which is Steph London mother enter the picture. As I said, she actually took it to Instagram in which she had defend Steph London. As I said, as it relates to her brother and also comparing Steph London brother to Nicki Minaj brother. As I said, due to the fact that them did name did not call up in a dissimilar situation my people so we see steph london mother took it to instagram on her page named mama london and said this people are weird they judge steph about our brother and support Nicki minaj with our brother still in prison if we love Nicki, same way we have to love steph the same but knowing black people who no love play unfair games steph brother is cleared from the accusation and Nicki brother is fully charged so my people may go give a full rundown of Steph London brother, is me and say, if you understand the situation perfectly. So my people, Steph London murder goes by the name of Dutch Avelli, as me and say, I think he was a, a rapper as well. You know what I mean? But this are the situation we end up in. As me and say, in November 2020, Dutch Avelli renamed Stefan Allen found himself at the center of a controversy. A series of screenshots allegedly showing his interaction with a girl of 14 years surfaces online. The controversy as per screenshot involved him inquiring about her age, complimenting her looks and inviting her to his hotel room. The minor claimed that despite revealing her age, he continued the conversation, even leaving her a voicemail. Dutch Avelli, however, contests these allegations, stating his Instagram had been compromised and that the girl in question was 17 and not 14. He went on to clarify that he had only interacted with her because she was a fan of his music and they had never met in person. As I mean, I say, a lot of people start saying, yo, a peer, the youth, peer of the, the girl family for all of the charges drop. I'm also denying those accusations as well as you can see right here. Dutch Avelli also denied rumors of having compensated the girl's family after her address was leaked online. He stated that the police should have been taking the responsibility to check on the girl's welfare. The allegation led to a public backlash against Dutch Avelli, with many labeled him as a predator, a pedophile. Fellow rapper like Stormzy and Tian Wayne severed their ties with him and follow him on social media platforms. Furthermore, play this on Spotify and YouTube excluded his song. Is it me? I say, so even though him in the clear my people, him still I get kind of sidelined as I can see them say Spotify and YouTube excluded his song. And I mean due to the allegations. Is it me? I say, but he's not charged and all of that. So obviously, I guess he's innocent according to these things. So get that clear, my people. And uh, for Nicki Minaj now, Nicki Minaj brother get involved in a in a situation that is much worse. Is it me? I say him get accused of actually doing the thing to the girl is me and say and him get sentenced to prison 25 years to life you know and i mean so that's why steph london mother say yo like how to accept Nicki minaj and him brother actually yes me i say i see him wearing enough love steph london and her brother because obviously our brother is in the clear my people now we see jada kingdom also do a little small live my people you know and i mean a vibes to the the badness of the song where she jap is me as if it's Steph London and I show one big matic in her hand, see him way is me as if then she make a repost and I say, Yo, due to the fact that you heard from the lies when I say in the song, them and I mean, all you need for do. I address the lies and create more lies. Is it me? I say in respond, my people. So this is what Jada Kingdom post on our story as it relates to the, the, the lies and all these things. Using a vibes cartel. This is how you address lies during a dance or clash with be a laughing emoji. Is it me? I say and say girl cry cry and a chat about lawsuit. Never see this yet. It's given. The truth hurts. So me can sue you to don because obviously she has said Steph London tell lies and her too. And I mean, and tag Vibes Cartel, at Vibes Cartel, one world boss. 
Me no bore my tongue. You use your tongue, bore so young. You feel how Hennessy and drink street vibes rum. Bunty killer did that say vibes cartel, bore tongue. And then vibes cartel, drop this song and address the situation. Say, yo, me no bore tongue. It's me and say, no man panic guards and no bore tongue. You know what I mean? So my people, I want to think about all of the clash we are going because you see people are precious Steph London a lot. You see me say, and I feel like I'm because Steph London don't actually know how the ground work. You see me say, as it relates to clashing in dance hall because in a dance hall they can clash and say anything about your opponent lies or anything. You see me say, so that's how it works in Jamaica. But you don't know in the first world country, them, you can't really say certain things about certain people. You see me say, you will get so fit things with them call like defamation of character and all these things so you have to really careful of what you have said during clash when you have clash overseas you see me say you have to talk about what in the media you see me say talk about things were actually up now oh dear you see me so that's the way oh steph london took it so when jada came down clap back and i say a bunch of things and i mean it kind of hit her personally you see me say so that kind of she never used to that you see me say she never ready for that for happen but as what them say, all is fear in love and war. So, you have to just respond and know, say, yo, this is how the game play. And you have to play it. You see me and some people. So, who not bring in the clash? Remember, know in the comment section. You see me and say, it's overdue now. Steph London need for reply because I don't know if she don't reply soon enough. It's past one day now. So, the people they might say Steph London actually dead. You see me? But she need a strong response. You see me and say, she did say she had a response still. You know what I mean? She make a post on her Instagram and delete it. This is what she said. Forget what I said. I haven't slept in days and I'm on, and I'm on my cycle. Only woman would understand. Keep your lie, them. That song weak, is me? And she said, see you tomorrow, Twinkie. But we actually didn't, didn't see her, is me? I said, pass tomorrow a long time. And I come to her next tomorrow and I go on to her next tomorrow, is me? I say. And she also say. Come make me bury you again. This time me are going to kneel the coffin for the dance them. Is me I say so? That statement actually uh, refer say yo, me not run. Is me I say? Now that me know say I want to play this game this way, all right? Me I come kill you now. Me I come put some nail in the coffin. Can't escape again. <laughs> so my people, me know what I think in the comment section because if Steph London don't respond tonight down to a morning, you know it's gonna be a big major problem. Is it me and say the people them are gonna say, yo, she dead. Even though them can't give her a pass because she get hurt in a really disrespectful way and emotionally trigger her, is it me and say so? Make sure you take a little time to regroup and respond though. Yeah, my people, so make sure when you leave a like on the video and also subscribe so that way you don't miss up on the latest updates. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.